here is a model X I am going to take a test drive nice the galvings door of opening And can you also make the those seats fall down to have like a hole? You can't make them fall down. What you can do is you actually can make them move and dip forward because they're powered. Oh, okay. Uh, front trunk as well. Uh, now this trunk uh, actually fits a set of golf clubs. Oh. So okay. it's actually pretty good. And while waiting to get your seatbelt on, this can do so. Tune in radio and Slack a personal radio has uh -huh. no extra charge. Um, so basically, uh, tuning radio can give you any radio station in the world. You can listen to talk radio from Antarctica. Wow. Okay. Um, and Slack or personal radio uh, will also give you any radio station you can think of in terms of a genre, an artist, a song. It's more like Spotify or Pandora, something of that nature. Uh -huh. It uh -huh. is powered um, by Google Maps. Okay. Uh, so it is very intuitive. It has a real-time traffic, um, and it also has a actual uh, real-time view wow. uh, of the road. Now, if I, as you can see over there, it says 166 miles um, uh -huh. near the chart, um, but in actuality, it's projecting around 124 miles of range hmm. uh, due to the fact um, that uh, the way the person drove it over the. Um, last five miles you can see the energy sparked uh, right uh, up because they had a little bit of a spirited journey uh, we moved to 15 and then 30 um, as you can see the same person had a little bit more of a spirited drive because it is the P90D ludicrous um, so oh, right. 166 would actually turn to 119 if you keep driving the way they've been driving okay. um, that can change all depending if you change your driving style uh, they have uh, what's called geolocator software um, so let's say if I put the car in high Mm -hmm. um, now, as you can see, uh, auto raising location uh, yeah. came up on the screen there, mm -hmm. uh, and what you can do is click it, uh, and it'll actually make this spot an auto raising location. So let's say if you have a, uh, a driveway that's pretty steep, for example, uh, you actually can have it remember you have a steep driveway, and it'll automatically just go up for you. No need to hit uh, the high button right there. Yeah, yeah. Mario Kart. Oh. <laughs> And I heard the, the volume dial goes on 11 in yeah. Tesla. <laughs> and we're still going to stay straight here. 
We're pretty much just going to follow that Model X. There we go. Autopilot is on. And if I were to get brake, it would take the autopilot off? Yes, it would. Okay. Just want to make sure because I'm not totally leaving. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, uh, I think you, I forced you, you shift the wheel. Oh, no, I just hit it again twice. And now we're good. <laughs> Man, that is a little scary at first. It is. It is very scary at first, I understand. Um, So what it will do uh, is it'll actually stay at the speed you put it at, which in this case was 61 miles an hour. Uh -huh. In order to speed it up, all you need to do is hit the stock upward. Um, if you hit it hard upward, it's going to go in intervals of five. If you hit it softly upward, it's going to go in intervals of one. Uh -huh. And then to slow it down is the opposite. You just go upward. Okay, uh, okay. The same motions. Uh, what it's going to do wow. uh, is it's going to stay at your speed. That's close to a car. Uh, you have a designated car length, and I think on this car it's one car length. You can change it okay. uh, from one to seven uh, if necessary. What it will do uh, is it will slow down or speed up to stay a certain length uh, from the car uh, that you chose. I see. So if you chose three, it would stay three car lengths from the car. Awesome, awesome. And then once in a while as well, uh, it will ask you uh, to pull the steering wheel. still, it takes a little while longer. If you start fidgeting, um, it'll actually take down a little bit shorter time. But you're all good. It's going to take the curve. Now it's telling you to hold it, so if you want to hold the steering wheel. Okay. You can see it's at the bottom. Okay. Let it go. Let it go now. Up, up. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And now it's going to say auto park ready. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit start. And now we're good. Leave the brake. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> nice. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, what we'll do is we'll go up to this postal truck and we're just going to creep behind it as well. So it keeps it slow down a little bit. Okay. All right. Keep slowing. And you're going to see the P uh, come back up onto your screen. And oh. it just did. Uh -huh. um, so just put it in reverse again. And now oh, we'll, we'll put your foot on the brake. You gotta put your foot, leave the foot in the brake until auto park begins. I see. Uh, okay. And then you'll be able to take it off. So now it's gonna actually just pull us into this space right here. Nice. <laughs> really nice. Mm -hmm. The age of intelligent machines. Exactly. Like it hit stop here, or as soon as the ultrasonic sensor? Nope, then it's going to hit 